Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mark Lafell, and today's uh, today video I wanted to talk about laboratory technologies. Uh, what is laboratory technologies? Uh, I feel like a lot of people do not know about lab tech and what we do, and uh, it if it's a good feel for somebody to go uh, there's a lot of different ways of look at it you know when I was uh, in school trying to get into fishing assistant program taking pre uh, med, pre med classes and um, I always wanted to go to the medical field but I never knew about uh, laboratory technologies what they do what this program is about until a friend of mine introduced it to me and suggested me that while I'm taking classes why not major in something that gonna take me right away and take classes you know while I'm still trying to get into something I like or something different and my my objective is to get into fishing assistant and uh, I was taking classes now after he told me uh, about uh, lab, lab tech, I went and made some research and found out that that's a good field. You know, let, let's take classes. Instead of taking classes that I don't want while applying uh, uh, every year for fishing assistant, let's take classes in uh, medical technology. In case uh, maybe two, two more years, I was in, in four year college, two more years, they don't accept me. I will graduate with a four year degree in lab tech, and from now I can decide later on if I want to still go to to fishing assistants or something. And I graduate with a 40 degree in medical laboratory technologies. And since then I've been working as a lab tech. And uh, now, is lab tech a good thing to go, a good field? I can say is when, when you work in minimum wage, like I used to making 15, at that time it was like 10 ten dollars an hour seven dollars i started seven six uh, seven eight nine ten minimum wage was ten dollars an hour and i was working uh, as a security guard and and doing part-time delivery for domino's pizza when you come from ten dollars and then to get at that time in 2015 I am with $28 an hour, that was, that was a big difference. Is the way, I mean, you might don't want to do lab tech, you might want to do nursing or different stuff or any, any, like uh, radiology or, or, or radiology technologies or, or occupational therapy, it doesn't matter what, you decide what you want to do, but is lab tech a good fit? For me, it is, in, 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 my, in my view, the way I look at it, it's a good feel because it can take you from minimum wage to an extra fifteen twenty dollars extra. So that's that's a big difference. That is a big difference. Now, wasting time getting the checking classes, getting to something that takes you five six years, you can cut it short, get into lab tech, and and working make a little money if you decide to go to something else later when you can still go now for whatever reason lab technologies make uh, uh, a few dollars as the nurse for whatever reason we have the same credential basically when i say credential we have the same level of degree four years and uh, the same uh, background and and, and biologies now the only reason that the excuse that they take for giving nursing an extra five dollars you know an extra five dollars in technologies then lab tech is direct patient care they can be saying nursing have direct contact with the patient and where lab technologies do we do not instead uh, on, unless we take in blood like drawing blood which we don't really do in new york i'm not sure any other places but you know sometimes we some hospital might ask you to do it unless you're doing that and um, you do not have direct contact or 
or unless you're doing transfusion if you work in the blood bank you might want to you might want uh, want to do some transfusion you do not directly in contact with the patient due to the fact that you only in contact with the specimens which is you know the blood things things like that they always send them to you and then you get the test done so they decided you not directly in contact with patient then then they give you they give you a few dollars i don't know why i mean maybe it's harder to deal with the patient maybe so my point is lab tech is a good film if you if if other people say otherwise i mean they might have their reason is it a good feel yes it is now people take a different approach that like what's the the possibility of growth you can get into the management after a few years of experience yeah like supervisor with the same bachelor degree some people went and get masters in a lab uh, laboratory management or different or uh, other fields it's up to you what you want to do later on now is it a good field to start yes it is it will take you for minimum wage to an extra twenty dollars an hour it will you can settle and you can live comfortably with a lab with lab technologies degree comfortably like like everybody else and that's the way I see it now in those videos I am going to speak a little more and give you like a, a salary information I'm gonna look at it again I have information I have a salary information in New York for new people who uh, live in New York and 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 you know different places pay different depending on the location so in New York I live in New York so I will give you information about salaries and then um, I will I will I'm going to teach a few classes because I, I, when I was preparing my board certification uh, ASCP exam I was looking online and YouTube to see if there's any information it was very very small I couldn't find that much information about lab tech about the classes uh, clinical about about uh, clinical lab uh, uh, chemistry methodology and, and those blood make uh, immunology classes. There's not too many information. I'm going to teach a few, uh, few class uh, online and have them available for you who want to pass, who's struggling and want to pass your ESAP. You will get, you will get good information, stuff you need to know, stuff to study, to in order to pass your board certification. I will teach those classes in a few more videos, and I uh, have a, all the good information, trick things you can do while taking your exam that can potentially raise your chances of getting of passing this exam for the first time. So stay tuned for next videos.